Hey, I'm Movie Creators. In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create non-standard aspect ratio video clips for use in iMovie picture-in-picture overlays or as your final product. Combining expert content on outdoor adventures with videography tips and tutorials. Visual Adventures with Kurt Papke. iMovie is lacking in two key features that I'm going to show you how to get around. First, it cannot change the aspect ratio of a cropped picture-in-picture -picture overlay clip. This can prevent you from creating videos with overlays like you're seeing here with me off to one side of the video. It also can only export 16 by 9 aspect ratio video, which is not optimal in social media posts like Instagram. The good news is, in Big Sur, Apple added video editing capabilities to the Photos app that allow any crop, and even better, made it available on Mac, iPhone, and iPad. Also good news is iMovie can handle a picture-in-picture -picture overlay of any aspect ratio. Let's do the easy one first. Create a square video for Instagram. Just export your video as normal, bring it into Photos, edit it, crop, and set the aspect ratio to square. Photos allows you to now move the center around to keep the portion of the video you are interested in. When you're happy with the result, press Done, then share the video to your desktop so you can upload to your social media account. Done! To change the aspect ratio of a picture-in-picture -picture overlay, again, bring your clip into Photos, Edit, Crop, and set the aspect ratio to Freeform. Crop the video to the way you want it, then I recommend you export it to the Finder to make it easy to import into iMovie. Bring up iMovie, import the clip, and bring it up on the timeline as an overlay. Set the overlay type to Picture in Picture, make sure you have the style set to fit, and you're all set. That's all there is to it. There's some tutorials on YouTube that show you how to do this using Keynote, but since Big Sur, you don't have to do that. You can just use the photo app, which is a lot easier. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was useful, click like or subscribe down below.